What's up everyone, here is Akta and welcome back on my YouTube channel. This time I'm gonna try to summon to get copies of Nicholas and it is gonna be the biggest summon I ever did on my account. As you can see I have many excellent and supreme wishes here. I've been saving during one month, one entire month. Uh, I think if I remember correctly I spent only uh, 50 excellent wishes in the last uh, summoning banner in order to try to get the double legend hero. And uh, yeah, I spend a lot on uh, voyage type events because you have many uh, summons and you can get some chance to get um, mystic shard etc. So if you are planning to buy packs in the future, uh, maybe don't buy directly the packs, uh, the summon packs in the store. It's better in my opinion, you have more value and more summons and everything else. Uh, during the voyage type events. So, uh, taken that apart, here as you can see you have Nicholas and he is separated from the others uh, because there is something different than other banners we had before. Uh, here we have a guarantee to have Nicholas, but you know what? You need to summon 10 legendary heroes in order to hit the guarantee. This is completely stupid in my opinion. Um, it's gonna be nice for me, I, I don't say that. It's gonna be nice for me because I have just enough to hit 10 legendary heroes if I'm not lucky and if I hit the PT every time. So I'm at least sure to get Nicolas exclusive too, but it's too much. It's way too much. I mean, on Miracle Wishes, we have the guarantee at three uh, legendary heroes uh, summoned, and uh, why not uh, doing this, but uh, on the fifth hero summoned? Or on the sixth, maybe it could have been better than that. Still a lot, but still better, and still a way uh, less than uh, we have on the Miracle Wishes. So. Uh, tell me what do you think in the comment below. I think it, it should change a bit because it's too much. It's it's way too much and it can occur only one time. And if you get Nicolas one copy before the, the guarantee, then you won't have him at the 10th uh, legendary hero summoned. So uh, yeah. Before we jump into the summon, I have to tell you something about Aptoid. Uh, yeah, I, sorry to bother you again with that, uh, but we have something really interesting here because they are making a giveaway. Uh, 10 players are gonna be uh, selected and can and have a chance to get $25 directly sent to their AppCoins wallet. Uh, in order to participate, you, you just have to use my promo code ACTAR5 between February 24th. So today and February 28th and also you, you can fill you have to fill this form uh, which is in my description below it's uh, super easy you just have to uh, here take the link in my description and click on next then you have to fill your email address so they can contact you in case you win and just uh, fill this form with your AppCoins wallet address um, in order to uh, receive the reward, so just go on uh, AppCoin's wallet, click your on your wallet, and here you have your address. So just uh, copy it and paste it in the form, just like this. Then you have to click on Next. And this is it. Thanks you for participating. You will be reached by email in case you win. And then don't forget to click on Submit here in order to uh, validate your participation. So, back to it, let's summon. Uh, here, as always, it's a rediffusion of my French video here, so you're gonna see me reacting here. Uh, so, whew, let me begin the summon with 10 pulls. I'm gonna do only 10 pulls, so it's gonna take more time. Uh, but yeah, I prefer doing that, it's more entertaining, and yeah, I prefer doing that. So, Huge amount of summons right here, and it begins. So uh, here, a Bizidon, a Lutz. A Bizidon is great, but I already have him as 5. Lutz is not a good hero, it's just a food, same for Magis. He is not good enough to be built. Uh, Ross, it's the same about Ross. Ross is not a good hero. He is interesting for his mechanic, but uh, there is no way to use him correctly in, at the moment in the game. Uh, Anton, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, I have mine exclusive three, so I can exclusive for him now. Pretty nice, but I'm I'm not sure to do it uh, because you know it's taking a lot of food to do it, and I don't want to to do that. Okay, so 
Rudolph, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, I think my Rudolph was only exclusive too. Oh, and this is it. So you saw it's Nicholas, it was written. So here I am pretty happy with that. So I have uh, my first legendary hero is a copy of Nicholas. So uh, during the video at the moment, I am super happy about that. Pretty nice. So now I need only one more uh, Nicholas in order to get the third exclusive on him. Whew, pretty nice, pretty nice so far. Uh, I had a lot of stress during all the video, you are gonna see that, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, Nicolas exclusive 3, it's dif Ni Nicolas is different from other heroes because if you miss the hero you want on a, t on a um, 10x banner, I mean, they are still on the pools, so you can be lucky one day and get them on another banner, something like that. But here it's a limited he hero, so you can only obtain him during this weekend, or you will have to wait another uh, similar event. But maybe next one is gonna be Pauline if, if someone uh, comes back. So Nicholas is not returning soon. For sure he is not. And you cannot use legendary eyes on him, so it's pretty bad in my opinion. So. As you can see, I had a lot of copies of Rudolph, so now I can exclusive 5 him if I want. Pretty nice. Rumble is a good unit, uh, epic one. He can freeze a lot and lower the speed by 70%, which is pretty nice. He can self-apply a shield using the basic attack if he frees the target, if I'm not mistaken. So he is interesting, especially for the faction and in some specific teams in Arena. Uh, both of them are not great. And I have the new Epic Hazier because I didn't have him before, so I'm pretty uh, happy about that. So let me push myself because I think the legendary hero is here. And it's a new one. And it's Will. So here I'm super happy having Will, but uh, I'm questioning myself. He is not part of these uh, pools. So uh, yeah, this is not one of the banner, but still, uh, I wanted him before. I have him now. He is awesome. And I want to showcase him on my account. So I'm pretty happy about this one. Okay, let's continue. Another... Uh, 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 Therese is interesting as a burner hero, but sadly she doesn't have any burn on her basic attack, so she lacks some damage. She could be better if at least she had something like 50% chance with the basic attack to apply a burn. It could be nice. Uh, I have multiple copies of uh, Holder. Uh, I, hey, yeah, this is a copy of Visley. I have my exclusive one at the moment, so it's pretty nice. I can build her better and try more stuff with her. Pretty nice. I love that. So, Bizidon, another copy, and Wainex. Wainex is interesting for the faction, I think, because it is one of the only heroes that can heal for the faction, and also he can revive. It's not a 100% chance revival, but still, it can help. Uh, probably I'm gonna save some copies of Love and Creon. Uh, oh yeah, and this is Eden. I wanted her for the Faction Abyss. She is insane. I'm gonna use her with Visley, uh, and it's gonna be insane for the Faction Abyss. I can't wait to show that content to you. So another copy of Magis. Okay. So I have a lot of work to do. I have to build a Hazier to showcase it, because in my opinion he's a great hero, and I want to show he to you, to show him to you with a, an endgame gear in order to see if he is good enough. So another legendary hero. This is my reaction. And this is a copy of Gerina. This is a copy of Gerina, so I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, it's another copy of Gerina. Okay, yeah. You will see at the end. Uh, I already had one copy of Gerina on my account. So Norma is interesting for the Blue Mark Tower. To remove the shield, if you don't have any shield removal. Uh, I have many copies of Lester in here, but it's normal though because there are a ton of Lesters in here. Uh, there he, he's in the banner, I mean. Um, another copy of Rudolph. And previously I had a Fagan. Fagan is interesting early game and also end game if you want to tank some heavy uh, AoE uh, damage dealers in the arena. He can provide a defense buff of 60% at the beginning of the wave and he is super nice for that. Uh, here I'm gonna save copies of Kaido because he is interesting for the Holy Light Parliament. 
and I would like to showcase him too. And Guna is interesting as a burner hero. More copies of Creon, pretty nice, so I'm gonna save them for the Doom Legion faction. Uh, I have many copies of Riddle of this time. I had only two, two or three copies of him before. Okay. And let me push myself. And this is another wheel! And so, yeah, I feel disappointed because why? I mean, there are so many heroes in the game. Why do I summon twice a wheel outside of the banner? Uh, this is... this is weird. This is weird. And still no other Nicholas for now. <sighs> so, uh, Hardock is interesting for the faction and early game. He can solo many contents in the game with some leash on him. Pretty interesting too. I'm not gonna build him because I ha already have the best heroes in the faction. Oh, and now I have... Gerina exclusive one. Gerina exclusive one and so probably I'm gonna build her. Okay, so more copies of Creon, pretty nice for the faction. 53 before the next legendary hero. Another Rudolf. Sadly, Unfortunately, we can't use extra copies of uh, epic heroes to put them in the sanctuary. And I had a copy of Christian, and you're gonna laugh be because I'm gonna keep him and I'm gonna build him for the faction abyss. Because I need some more um, stuns. Okay, a new one. And it's Fritch! And he is just perfect! I'm super happy about this one because now probably he is the best hero to have in dungeon to lower the damage taken by bosses. Uh, he can lower uh, the attack by 40% and the crit damage by 60% using the second skill. It's insane in my opinion, thanks to the buff. Awesome hero, great one. Great one. So uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with what I have because one Nicholas, exclusive two, uh, two, two wheel, pretty insane hero, one Fritch, one Gerina. No, for now it's it's pretty nice, but still I just want to summon for to have Nicholas and here as you can see I'm not able to cut any PT over 900 pools. Another copy of Hazier, pretty nice. Pretty nice, so it continues until the next PT, as always. Okay, close to the pity. Another Christian. Pretty nice. So I was saying that Christian is amazing for the faction abyss uh, because he can stun with the basic attack with his ultimate in AoE and also he can provide a shield by 20% of his max HP so it's pretty, pretty huge for the faction. A new one. And it's a need rolled. So yeah, uh, I mean, I'm happy to have an in roll, but I'm not happy not to have another copy of uh, Nicholas at the moment. 900 pulls, no single pity cut, and only one Nicholas. But you know, I still have many Supreme, so... And it continues over and over, only epic units. Never cut the pity. It's terrible for that. It's it's just terrible. I've I I have the feeling to waste my summons because I don't cut the pity. This is this is horrible. Another Christian, perfect. <laughs> so now I can full exclusive my Christian maybe. So here I don't have enough remaining, but look at that. I had three heroes in the banner. Huge amount of Rudolph and a lot of uh, epic heroes in the banner, so I managed to get all the rewards here, so it is pretty nice. It's pretty nice, and now I have 10 more excellent wishes, so I'm gonna continue. Mm. 
So, nothing more here. Let's jump on the Supreme Wishes. At the moment, I'm counting the numbers of uh, legendary heroes I had. So I I had six legendary heroes. Full pity. Full pity every time. And now it's the turn. It's time to do the Supreme Stones. Am I gonna get lucky on this one? Not for now, not for now. And it continues. And if you're curious about my uh, face at the moment, this is me, okay? So, <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm really hoping to get just my copy of Nicholas, but here during the video, I'm just like, I will never get him. But you know, when you have 60 Supreme Stones, you are like, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure to have it, I have so many chances to get him, but in fact, uh, ye no, it's not the case. Uh, maybe you can spend everything and never get him. And this is another legendary hero, look at my face, okay, I just uh, skipped it. Uh, I think, she's great, uh, now she's great, Elad, so it's the first exclusive on her, for mine. She's gonna be insane, but it's still not Nicholas. And it was close to the PT. It was close to the PT. And it continues over and over and over and over. Continue until the PT. And it continues. No, it's just too juicy. Look at my face. <laughs> I am at the moment decomposing myself. This is just terrible. I feel I'm feeling so bad during this summon session. This is just terrible. Tell me how uh, people or sensed have a chance to get Nicolas copies. Just tell me. Or maybe they have to be crazy lucky. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> horrible. Just horrible. At this, at this moment, I feel super, super bad. So I'm gonna hit another pity on the Supreme Wishes. I mean, you have 8% chance. Look at that. Pity. Yeah, at this moment of the video, I just quit. I just quit. I decided to quit because as you can see here, the video is gonna cut. I decided to quit because I am fed up. You know what? I am fed up. I mean, I have so many summons. I can't manage. I can't manage to get him. I mean, what the hell? How many summons do we need in order to get copies? At least two copies of him. And... Maybe I had been lucky enough to get one copy. No, I, I don't want to say that because they put a guarantee on the 10 uh, legendary hero summoned. If you didn't get one copy of Nicholas, you are 100% sure to get him. So, it's not being lucky. It's not being lucky. So, uh, let me show you the next part of the video here. As you can see, I just relaxed. I, I took some fresh air. I, I exercised a bit and I am trying to make some breathe exercises because I'm feeling super, super bad at the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to relax and smile, etc. But inside of me at this moment, <laughs> feeling super, super bad. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. So you can see my reaction. So next one, another Lester. 36 months remaining. Yeah, I'm explaining that I was feeling super bad. Another Guna. Uh, do you think that I'm gonna cut the pity, maybe? Maybe one time? 
Okay, another Tyrus. Another Tyrus. Oh, I cut the PT and I got a Barry, but it's still not Nicolas. I mean, Barry is great, but Nicolas is limited. Yeah, it's not Nicolas is better. Nicolas is limited. Let us put our exclusive eyes on him. Please, what is the point? I mean, it's okay to spend to get at least the first copy, but you will get so ma so much income if you would open it to uh, exclusive eyes. I mean, so many players are, um, want to purchase exclusive eye on the shop to put the eye on Nicolas, but they can't. You would get a huge amount of income if you would allow that. I don't get the point. I don't get the point. I mean, how are we supposed to get Nicolas? And it continues over and over and over. So, 29 Supreme Wishes remain remaining now. Yeah, at this moment, I, I still have a little hope, but really, really small like this, or maybe like this, you know? So small that you can't see it between my fingers. Terrible, terrible luck. Terrible luck. Nine before the next pity. Ah, this is insane. This is just insane. 26. Another Lester. I got many Rudolph and Lester. Okay. <laughs> And another Leicester, back-to-back -back Leicester. There are no uh, many uh, epic heroes in the game. I get only the same again and again and again and again. Feeling bad. And another Leicester. There is only Leicester in the game, you know? I, they, they removed all the epic heroes almost. There is only Leicester. <laughs> so... Two before the next one. And another legendary hero. Oui, oui, ça y est, exclusive 3. Finally. Yes, ça y est, j'ai pu en faire. Finally. Finally, and now I could breathe again. I mean, the amount of wishes needed to get two copies of Nicolas was just insane. And this is not a Nicolas on the guarantee. Uh, and I don't think that you can get the guarantee again if you already got one copy of Nicolas, even if you summon 10 more legendary heroes and if the 10 are not Nicolas. I don't know about that. So here I was the most happy player in the game. Because I finally have him exclusive 3. It shouldn't be that stressful. It shouldn't be like this. This is just terrible. We should get fun summoning. I mean, if we decide to spend a lot of money, we should have more guarantee, at least more rates to get the, the, the targeted legendary heroes in all games and even in Genshin Impact. I mean, you have a huge... You don't have a huge rate to get the heroes, but you st always have a guarantee to have him after a, a certain amount of pulls. And here it is not the case. Tell me why. So I decided to do a 10 pulls because now I could breathe. So I, I, I got zero legendary heroes in it, but you know what? It's okay because I have what I wanted. So uh, tell me the amount of luck during this uh, summon session. Is it good for you? Is it good or not? Because I almost never cut the PT. One time on the Supreme Wishes, uh, two times. Uh, the first time on the Supreme Wishes, I was close to the PT, so uh, it doesn't really count in my opinion. When you are three or four away from the PT, uh, yeah, at least it's, it makes you save uh, uh, some wishes. But... <sighs> 900 excellent. 62 Supreme. One time, 
two times PT cut on Supreme Sons, which is, this is insane. So I'm gonna get one extra legendary hero here. And on the PT, full PT again. And it's another Garina. It's another Garina. So it's exclusive to Garina now if I decide to build her. Four more wishes. Can I get another a legendary hero? Ah, two, two summon left. Only one remaining. And suspense. And another Lester. Another Lester. So, uh, let me summarize what I had. I had two copies of Nicholas. Uh, let me show that to you. And look at the amount of Tithias. I mean, at Christmas, on the Miracle Wishes, I had only one Nicholas on the guarantee and I had two copies of Tifia and here I have so many heroes outside but I finally managed to get my copy of Nicolas. So I had one Eilat, which is pretty nice now because after the buff she is insane. One Fridge, same comment, he is gonna be the best support hero on dungeons thanks to the second skill here, attack down, crit damage down, awesome, insane. So Eilat, Taf, I got a Taf, Fridge, a uh, Nidrold, Barry, uh, two Nicolas, I had two, two Gerina, and two Will. Will is also great. First, ex two exclusives on her is awesome. First exclusive here is nice. The first exclusive on Nidrold is nice too. Uh, so yeah, in fact, I had it. The, the summon was almost perfect. If I had more copies of Nicholas or Nic the second Nicholas the Stooner, it would have been better. But I had only good heroes. I had only good heroes and I'm super happy about that. Uh, tell me what you think in the comment below. I hope you enjoyed it and that if you summoned that you have been more lucky than me. Especially if you are free, free to play. I hope that you have been lucky and get copies of Nicholas. Uh, it's easy, easier than me because at the moment, yeah, that was super hard for me. So, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and then see you in the next one. Bye bye. Infinite Magic Raid, play to slay.